Happy mid-August to you, coaching friends. I pray you're doing well. Thanks for tuning into our video clips. We're having a ball creating them and connecting with you in this way. In our very first video, we shared a data collection tool with you. We're getting some great feedback on this and have created a fax document to answer some of the consistent questions we've received. With that, there are a couple of points I want to reinforce about this tool. The data we will be asking for at the end of the year is the aggregate numbers that the spreadsheet automatically calculates for you at the top of the page. This is magic, friends. It does the math for you. And of course, we follow a strict code of ethics and confidentiality. And it's super important that you know we are not, nor will we ever ask you to share the names or contact information of your clients. Those columns are there for your own organizational purposes. The only information that we will ask you for are the collated numbers at the top of the columns. I think it's important for us to also remember why we're asking you to track this for us. While we are a spirit-led organization, there are still business aspects to the work we do together. The information we are asking you to collect will help us tell the story of how we are investing in people and the impact we are having on ministry across the country. These statistics will be examined by the people who make budget decisions in our office and, in turn, directly affects the ability we have to pour back into our leaders and you as coaches. One example is our ability to host race relation conversations for synods and congregations. Here to tell us more about this opportunity is beloved colleague Brenda Smith, former director of Faith Formation for the ELCA. Warm greetings. Many are asking how can race relations be enhanced? How about sitting, talking, and listening and giving each other a chance? The Race Conversations resource is a faith based resource for persons of different racial groups to learn in small groups how one's racial identity influences how they live out being a child of God in the world. The goal is that by the end of four sessions, participants will have a better understanding and respect for those who are different from them. And with that knowledge, will strive for reconciliation and eventually right relationship with the other. For more information about this resource, please go to the email that you have been sent. Thank you and God bless. Our ministry is committed to working together to dismantle institutional racism. For the giveaway today, we are offering a copy of Me and White Supremacy to the first 10 people that respond to the video at jill.beverlin at elca.org. Thanks for listening, friends. Keep changing the world, one coaching conversation at a time.